Hey guys, I'm here with the Sony FX30 and this one here is the Sennheiser MK600. Pretty popular microphone, a very good microphone I'd say, and kind of a perfect match for cameras like the FX30, the FX3. The only problem with the MK600 is that it's, it's kind of a skinny microphone. There's a lot of people recommending these rubber spacers for the top handle that comes with the Sony FX3 and Oh, there's a bumblebee in the studio. Yikes. <laughs> well, anyway, it's just a simple piece of rubber tubing, basically, with a slit down the middle. Can you hear the bumblebee? It's right up to the microphone now. Jeez, Louise. A little slit down the middle here. And there's also a little flange on the sides here just to keep it from sliding out of the uh, the microphone mount here. Where did it go? Oh. Whew. Let's <laughs> move things forward. Um, so I'm using the Sennheiser MK600, which is a pretty skinny shotgun microphone. I believe the diameter of this microphone is about 20 millimeters. And with one of these little spacers on the MK600, you're getting a pretty decent fit here in the microphone mount. I would say that this would do a good enough job if you're mainly doing locked off shots on tripods for interviews and that kind of stuff. However, if you're whip panning and moving around a lot, there will be some, some movement if you're super violent with your camera. I tried putting two of these together, which, well, I did manage to kind of lock down the mount here, but I felt that I was putting way too much stress on the uh, on the little mount here, especially the, the latch and the hinge, which the hinge, by the way, is just a tiny little thin piece of, of metal. So rather than keeping two of these together, I decided to just trim off a piece of a second one of these spacers like this and you can see it's roughly like one quarter of a whole one also trimmed off the little flanges just to make it easier to fit everything into the mount and i would say that for the mk600 one and one quarter like this is pretty much the ideal uh, amount of spacing you need to have a very, very secure fit on your XLR handle. So I will leave a link to these <laughs> spacers in the description of this video, so you don't have to do the extra typing. This way you can just teleport yourself to Amazon and add some of these to your shopping cart. Now, thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. And I also hope I'll see you in the next video without any bumblebees. Okay, see you.